Hi, this is Martha here at my channel, Nanika Sims, with a challenge, <laughs> a brand new challenge uh, where I was nominated by Stace Stace. And everybody I mentioned, I will have links to their channels in the description below, uh, box below. This is called a five card challenge. This is where we are to use one stamp and one die, make four different cards off camera and one on ca on camera. Oops. And then we're to nominate two other crafters to keep the challenge going. The host of this is Jane at the Crafting Shed Davis 727. I have a, li a link to her intro video below. All right. Um, okay. So I have made all of my cards and let me show you what what I used um, starting off I got this at Tuesday morning I sure missed that store this was called well-groomed collection it's really all about dogs and cats but that was um, one of the pieces of paper that has a design that I really like so this is my, you know, I bought one of those packs that has like 25 sheets of the same paper. Okay, so I use that paper. This is my one die. It's by Marianne Creatables. It doesn't have a name, just has a number. L-R-O-3-6-9. So this is my one die. And this is my one stamp stamping up happy birthday uh i have been asked to provide some birthday cards so i'm really focusing in on that little theme right now and i also use this cute little uh maria memory keepers precision press i got this at tuesday morning and i really like it for small things so let me show you my first little card I made this one and I think it is so cute but it is so delicate I'm not sure I'm gonna give it to anybody um that die does have a, a background die I don't own it but if I did that would be two dies so I couldn't use it but there is nothing to hold this centerpiece into when you cut it, it cuts out. It comes away. So what I did was I did put a little glue around the sides of it, hoping it would catch on to this little piece of paper here. But then I used Anna Griffin stickers. Part of the sticker is on the major part here, and the other is on this little, uh, the center. And I hope that, you know, that will hold it in place. But I took two of the designs, pieced them together, and made it stand so it does stand up. So that's number one. Number two is just a plain card, regular five by seven with the star in the center. And as I said, this centerpiece cuts out, so I didn't put it back in. Use another Anna Griffin flower. Uh, these are heartfelt statement here. And then the inside, I put, now you might, I cut the star out of this paper and you might wonder why I did that since I was going to just put it back. But I wanted this white to show around here and around here. And I put this center back in here and use that one stamp. Okay, that's card number two. Number three is a TP card. Okay, it goes like that. And um, I, I just put something on the front only, this, that same star with, oh, I put a little bead here, one simple bead there, the Anna Griffin. To save me, since I couldn't make flowers, I used all Anna Griffin flowers on here. Now, this is a TP card. It stands as well. Uh, here's one I made years ago and there are many 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 tutorials on on pinterest for this or uh so it's it comes like this you have three squares all the same size here here and here and you score them and then you layer your uh pattern paper on there then they fold 
like that to form the TP. And as I said, there are tutorials out there for that. Um, so this is my TP card. And I, re I really like how it turned out. It's nice and clean. Uh, I wish you could see it better. Let's see. I could go up just a little. Okay. Sorry about putting my hand in front of the camera there. Okay, card number four. Oh my goodness. I love this card. I love this card. I was trying to figure out what... Actually, this was my card number five. What I was going to make. And I was watching the video. And this was by Sam Calcott. And I, do have, I will have a link to her tutorial on this. This has acetate here. You see the strips. It's dimensional. It... Stands like that, and it is, believe it or not, quite simple to make. And I will put a sentiment on this side uh, when I can use a second stamp. <laughs> okay, so I, and I put the um, Anna Griffin flowers and some beads. But I, I love this card. I will be using this design more. And as I said, a link to her tutorial will be in the description box. Uh, below. Now for my fifth card and the one that I will, and when I said oops, that's because I made all of my cards off camera, but I will show you how I made the last one. The last one is this one and it it folds down like this supposedly uh five by seven but i got my measurements off a little bit so it's bigger than five by seven but if you were to make it make sure that you uh check your numbers but i think it is pretty i put the same paper all the way across it has a side panel here a side panel here and you can see how it op how it looks if it's opened out all the way and the, there's a flower here, a couple of beads scattered around, and then it stands like that. And I like this card. So this is the one I'm going to show you how I made it. Okay, and I hope I will cover everything that's on this instruction sheet for you. First of all, this paper is 7 by 10. I'm sorry about my phone being in. <laughs> 7 by 10. Okay, this section is uh, two and a half. This one is one inch. This one is three. And again, one and two and a half. You score it at two and a half, three and a half, six and a half, and seven and a half. Okay, for your mats, you see how I matted each section with uh, the black underneath and then my design paper there all the way across matted. Okay. So for the two and a half section, the mat is two and a quarter by six and three quarters. The pattern paper is two by six and a half. In this little one inch portion, the mat, the black mat was three and a quarter, three fourths by six and three fourths. The pattern is one half by six and a half. And of course that's repeated on the opposite side. In the center, the black paper was two and three fourths by six and three fourths. And the pattern paper was two and a half by six and a half. All right, so what's left to do is to, um, so I scored all of that. So now you fold it. Fold it here, here, fold it here, fold this up.
and fold this up. Ooh, and, hello. and now you want to push it down and, and burnish all of your score marks. So I'm just burnish that down and I put ink in all of my score marks so that you could see them very clearly. Oh, and one other important thing, before you fold it, put your uh, your papers on, on it. Uh, be sure you put all of your panels down. Adhere your panels to this while it's flat and it's so much easier. But see, that's the finished card just as this one is. Okay? I hope that was clear. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Now, for the two people that I nominate uh, to make uh, four cards on camera, one, I mean off camera, excuse me, four cards off camera, one card on camera, camera, one stamp, one die. I nominate Ebony from Sharon Moore and Audrey from So Good All. Uh, there is no deadline, so you just make these, uh, you know, at your convenience, post them. And I'm using um, the title Five Card Channel Challenge. And I'm going to go ahead. They didn't say do this, but I'm going to put a hashtag with it also. Um, all right. Uh, that's what I have for you today. And if oh, and if you can't accept the challenge, just let me know. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Stay Stace, for inviting me to participate. And I hope you like what I have uh, made for this challenge. Again, this one, the TP, the little card, the regular card. And the Sam Calcott card. I love this card. All right. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. And ta-da.